There we go. Thank you, Alana. Hello, everybody. Hello, Doug. Hey. How Hello. are you all today? <laughs> Good. All right. Another beautiful spring day here in British Columbia. <laughs> you haven't taken your lunch things. Yeah, the winter that never ends. Holy smokes. It's getting just chillier and chillier. I don't know what's going on. Hey, let's, let's grab a big stick here. We're going to warm ourselves up. We're going to pretend it's spring, even though flowers are slowly coming. So grab a stick. A, uh, uh, um, I can't think today. A broom handle, a, a water noodle, pool noodle. That's what they call those. Yeah, pool noodles or a big stick, whatever you've got. Okay. Make sure, first of all, there's nothing around you. Make sure you've got some room. Move that over and we're gonna hold our sticks just, just shoulder width apart like so. And I'm just gonna drop this down just the tiniest bit here. Good, okay, let's get our feet planted. We're nice and firm and on our feet, but we keep, keep our knees soft. And we're just gonna spin around. Nice, easy spin. Just to get our bodies thinking about some movement here. Nothing too crazy. When we, when we start to get active here, we want to make sure that we get lots of breath in. So try to take some nice deep breaths in. We breathe a little deeper when we exercise. So you've got to be ready for that. Some people like breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Some just breathe in through the mouth. Just good to be aware of it. Yes. Now I'm going to rock that stick side to side. Just like that. Get it nice and high. Don't force it, but let it swing. Dennis, it's nice to see you. you made it on. You made it on to the right one here. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> right on. Had a little trouble last week, so I'm glad to see him. Glad to see he's here. It's a bit confusing because some some of you folks are doing my Tuesday and Thursday class, and there's different Zoom links for them. So that's what gets confusing. Okay, let's hold that stick right in the middle. And we're gonna open, open up, swing it out to the right, swing it across your chest. Try to keep your hips fairly square. You can turn them a little bit, but, but don't do a big turn like that. I'm just, just trying to warm up the upper body mostly here. Start with, yes, good. Let's change hands, the other side, there we go. Good. <coughs> Still a few more people arriving. Got a nice strong turnout today, it looks like. It's fun. There we go. Just a few more. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna grab it like a canoe paddle. You're, I'm sure you're all Canadian, you've all been in a canoe before. It's kind of a standard practice. You have to be in a canoe at one point. And we're gonna lift up, we're gonna really exaggerate that canoe paddle. We're gonna reach forward, bend those knees a wee bit. Yes. Big reach and a stretch back. Ah, there's the canoe. Oh. Well, there we go. Let's sing a paddling song. Silver paddles or something. Let's change sides, go from the other side. Ah, oh, it's nothing more Canadian than canoeing. Got your jar of maple syrup next to you. Oh, you're, oh look out, there's a beaver. Look out for the beaver. Gotta go around the beavers. I saw a beaver last year and I was out for a run. It was a really cool thing. Just running in my local forest and there was a beaver sitting there looking at me. Pretty neat. I thought, yeah, that's truly Canadian. All right. Three, two, one. All right, we'll switch that up now. Stick, palms down on the stick. We're gonna lift that all the way up overhead and down to your thighs. Be careful, don't. Don't overstretch, don't go past the point of what your body wants you to go. Don't make this about pain. You don't want to be in pain when you do these. It should feel good. Maybe you'll only get 
as high as there, that's okay. Just do what you can. Ease it on up. Good. Now, in order to go above and beyond, we're going to turn our palms up now. And we're going to go up and over the head, bring it in behind like that. That hand position will allow you to do that. So that's perfect. Now we'll slide that hand back down to the middle again, draw it across your body. So I've got it in my right arm on my left hip. We'll bring it down like that and we're, that's it, yes. And we're gonna lift it up and back like that. Feel it stretching out through the chest and the shoulder. Yes, big movements, big stretches. These are actually dynamic stretches. Get your body prepared for some work. That's it. Three, two, one. Let's switch that arm over to the other side. All the way up. You might find one side easier than the other. It's all good. Just do your best with what you got to work with. <laughs> Do your best with what you've got to work with. That's our model for the day. Everybody has aches and pains. Good. Run that across your body. Lateral movement. Good. Now we're going to take that stick and just pass it around behind your back. Open that up like that. Good. That's it. And let's go the other direction. It's, it's just a nice way to kind of get your, your mind woken up a little bit too. Connecting the mind and the body here. Stretching all those shoulders at the same time. All right. Okay, now we're going to hold that stick almost like it's a, it's a sword. Okay, so we're going to do a little jabbing here. But what I want you to do is just take a step forward and back. Same foot 10 times. So I'm going to do my left foot, right hand. So the opposite foot and hand. Don't use your wife or husband as a target, please. Never goes over well. Don't be doing that. <laughs> they might get you back. <laughs> you always have to think it through, you know? I'll, every action has a reaction. Woo, poking my red ball here. Good, let's try the other side. So I am going to put it in my left hand, step forward with my right. Good. Now this doesn't have to be a really big, Powerful lunge, we're just getting warmed up. Just get that weight on the front foot, and then you do a little follow through with the stick. So great for balance, right? Works for balance. Forward. That's what we're after. Whoa, I lost my balance. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. I know most of you probably think I'm perfect, but you know, it's, it's not true. It's just a nasty rumor. <laughs> no, far, far, far from perfect. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Let's get these legs working a little more. I'm gonna take my left knee and I'm gonna lift it up. Again, just do the one side. This again is a great balance exercise because as soon as you lift that knee, well, guess what? Everything, everything is being supported on one leg and that's challenging. So the slower you go, the harder it is and therefore the better it is. So go slow up, slow down. You notice um, you have to shift your weight just before you lift your knee, you've got to shift your weight to the other leg, right? So you've got to shift, shift. So that's really good for your brain. Practice that little shift. Shift to the right, lift the left knee. Shift to the right, lift the left knee. Yes. Let's try the other side. 
I'm not going to do it because it, my foot's still dealing with broken foot, so I'm just going to keep going. So you guys lift your right leg. Pretend I am, but my foot was kind of sore after our last meeting, so I don't want to do that again. I'm going to baby it today. I'm an old guy. i got to take care of myself here. People keep telling me that. Well, you're not as young as you used to be, Doug. It takes a long time to recover from things. I'm kind of sick of hearing that, to be honest. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Now, let's put that stick down. Come on back. And this is just, we're just gonna do this little rock and roll, just shifting side to side. Let's think about our posture. We don't wanna be slouched over like this. We wanna stay nice and tall, everything back. And we're always kind of engaging the core muscles, right? Our tummy muscles just wanna kind of just not sucking it in like you're showing off on the beach. Just a little being aware of your stomach muscles, your core, what we call your core muscles around the, the midsection. Just want to be aware of them. As soon as you slouch, those muscles turn off. When you stand tall and engage those muscles, it helps your posture. So that's just a good rule of thumb. Now let's do a little reach. A little reach. Side to side. Side to side. Reaching out just like that. Yes. Now, just keep going, keep going. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my toes here. I want to do a little toe tap here. So we're going like this. Tap, tap, whoops, tap, tap. Just like that. It's an old aerobics move. Remember back in the 80s, everybody wore spandex, leg warmers, with their aerobics. Couldn't tell who were the guys and who were the girls. <laughs> just kidding. Guys are a lot more, you know, they like wearing their spandex back in the 80s, 90s. Hey, I still do it. I ride my bike, so who am I to talk, right? Tell me, Mr. Spandex, you can call me. Well, I guess it's Lycra. Now, watch what I do here. Take one step forward and one step back. That's yeah, not the greatest look wearing the Lycra. It's comfortable. So my foot goes forward. Whoops, that foot comes back. It doesn't stop here. We want to continue all the way back. So lift, forward, lift, back. Forward and back. This is one of those everyday practice exercises. Practice this all the time. And you can certainly hold on to a chair if you need to. Those of you who have been coming to my classes for over, over a year or more, you know, I love this exercise and I practice it all the time. It's very important to practice stuff like this. Hey, let's switch feet. Try it with your other side. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward. Yes. Forward. Back. That's what we're after. Very nice, very nice. Good. Hope you find that a little bit challenging, but doable. It's always good to challenge yourself, but not to the point where it's, you know, it's ridiculous. Good, good, good. Now a little tandem walk, just in case you ever get pulled over, you know, coming, coming home on Saturday night. I know you guys wouldn't drink and drive, but they might make you do this sometime, right? So you want to practice. This is a little tandem step. So just heel the toe. Try taking a few steps. You can have your chair right there. You can, you can walk in your chair. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, think about your posture. Keep everything upright. Whoa. Honestly, I don't know how they expect you to do these when you haven't had a drink. They're hard. <laughs> so that's called a tandem step. It just means you're in line. Okay. Now I want you to plant your right foot, put your left foot directly in front of that foot. Hold on to a chair for a second. A B. Okay. So you've got your feet just like this. So ten, nice tandem step. One in front. Now what I want you to do is try to just let go of the chair. Bring your arms up like this. 
Just a little rotation to the right, little to the left. Have your chair right there because trust me, this can go sideways really quickly. I just want you to focus. Look straight ahead. Whoa, I'm tilting. You got your heel touching your toe. Your front toes touching your heel. If that's too hard, you can go a little bit wider like that. Okay? You can try it both ways. Now bring your hands like this and try to reach up. Reach up. Excellent. Looking good. You guys look very stable. My gosh. Now we're gonna bring the other foot around. So put your, now I'm gonna put my right foot in front, the left foot tucked in behind. I'm gonna butt that big toe right up to my heel. And let's try this again. You might find one side's harder than the other. A little tilt, a little tilt. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. I'm finding this one a lot harder just because of my foot. Interesting. Now up we go. Let's reach up. Good. Lock that out. Excellent. Excellent. Grab your chair. Let's start to loosen up these hips a little bit more now. So. What I like to do is bring my one foot in front and swing it side to side. You're not controlling it with your muscles, just letting it swing. Let it swing. Hello, Nola. I see you there. Our social committee gal. A lovely chair you have there, Tim. Lovely chair. I like to sleep in all your living rooms, you know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> now everybody change legs. I'm not gonna change legs, but you go right ahead and do it. Swing your other leg. Remember, just nice and loose. How high can you get that leg? Be careful not to smack your foot on the chair, that always hurts. Try not to do that. Try not to do that. That's something I would do. So that's just a nice, easy, you're gonna feel your hips starting to warm up a little bit. Good. Now let's put the feet on the ground. Let's do the same thing, but with your arm, your right arm. Swing it under, lift it up. You can bend forward, but keep your back straight, please. Yes. The other side. That's it. Good. Now we're going to do a very short series of leg strengthening exercises. First one goes like this. Okay? Take our, sorry, I'll go like this so you can see better. Feet are together. And I want you to look down at your feet. Notice your toes, toes are pointing straight ahead. When you lift this leg, we're going to lift out to the side. Keep that toe pointed straight ahead. Careful not to, don't turn it out. That makes sense. I'm just lifting up like this. You're going to feel this on the outside of the hip. Gluteus, medius. Work that nice hip region there. Strengthen it. Straight up. This time we're not swinging it. We're actually lifting and lowering. So you're going to go a little slower. Make the muscles do the work now. Three, two, last one. And the other side. Let's go. Straight up and out. Nice. Very nice. Three, two, 
and one. Good. Now, let's work the hamstrings, which are these muscles at the back there. We're going to go like this. We're going to just bend that knee, feel that muscle right there working. Lift that heel up towards your backside. Yes, indeed. <coughs> And one. Good. Now the other side. Here we go. <coughs> Excellent. Excellent. Feel that muscle working behind the thigh there, the hamstring muscle working. Sometimes people feel this one cramping up a little bit. So if it cramps up, stop and give it a little shake out. When you really activate this muscle like we're doing here, sometimes it, it goes into that little bit of a cramp. Perfectly normal. Now watch this one. We're gonna work the hip flexors. These are really important for balance because you have to be able to lift your knee up high enough to step over something. If you're in that position where you're forced to have to step over something. So we want to strengthen what we call the hip flexors and the hip flexors are the muscles that cause this action just lifting the knee flexes the hip so it's these muscle these muscles in front so straight up and if you want to work on your balance you can do this free form without holding on it's up to you but if you're concerned about your balance keep a hand on a chair you're still going to get full benefit from this exercise if you hold on okay that's it looking good Good, hip flexor, strengthening that. You can do this in a chair as well. You're watching TV, you can practice strengthening your hip flexors. All these movements are good. You can't do it. You can't do these enough. Do them all the time. 20 times a day, 20 different times a day. <laughs> before you have dinner, before you have lunch, when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> okay, that's getting carried away. Let's try the other side now. Lift, lift. Now you might not have enough range of motion to get that knee up. You know, it's nice to try to get it up to see the 90 degree bend there, but if you can't, if all you're doing is here, that's great, keep working at it. Maybe it'll improve. There's all kinds of factors in play and everybody's had a lifetime of experiences with their body. Everyone's had their breakdowns and their mishaps. And if you get to, your senior senior citizen age and you haven't had something go wrong you're doing pretty good <laughs> you'd be like a miracle person come on let's be truthful here so you do your best with what you've got to work with good there's no excuse for not giving it your best shot no matter what that looks like for you okay no enough of my pep talks i'm getting annoyed with my poor to myself listen to myself Let's get those hands on the hips. Here we go. We're doing the twirly whirly here. The hula. Puka, puka, puka. Naka, nuka, nuka. Oh, yes. Smell the trade winds, the coconuts, and the breeze. Now, this one, we're trying to get as big of a circle as you can. This really kind of is great for the lower back. He's a nice little stretch out. If you get tight, if you sit too long, you stand up and you practice this. Now make sure it's the hips that are doing most of the work. Let's switch directions. Your knees are kind of coming along for the ride, but it's your hips that you're circling. So thrust it forward and back. For some reason, the ladies are always better at this one than the guys. Hmm. This comes more naturally, I guess. More, more supple hips than us men who have tight hips. I haven't spent a lot, a lot of time you know, at, at Luau's doing the hula. I don't okay. know. Hands at your side, please. Let's do our side bend. Down we go. Here's the little pro tip. Exhale on the way down. I find it helps.
There we go. Almost there. Oh, we're going to do one more exercise before we grab our dumbbells. Do some strengthening the upper body. We're going to put our hands on the thighs. We're going to bend forward. And when you come up, I want you to bring your arms back like this. Just like that. Okay, so now down we go. Come on back up. Stretch it. Open it up. Ah, oh, yes. It feels good. We can just do that for the rest of the class. That feels great. Yes. One more, now we go, opening up just like that. Good, okay. Hey, guess what? It's time to grab some dumbbells. Go grab your dumbbells. Let's get some strength going here. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, all right. Okay, let's sit this up. That one's almost dead, let's use the other one. That one off. Okay, I'm just setting up my timer here for us. All right. As always, I love to start the dumbbells just with a little, and you can sit or stand for this. It's entirely up to you. If you're not having a great day, grab a seat. Feel really good? Come stand up. Now I like to just get your body used to holding the dumbbells. So I like to do these little swings, just nice and easy. Not actually using your muscles. Again, it's just gravity kind of flowing. Now, I hope that feels good. I, I always find it just feels good to have a little bit of weight in your hands, just kind of swinging it, it just feels nice. Now let's try this, just a little twist around. Be aware of how you're standing always when you're doing these, you wanna have your Feet out, shoulder width apart, not, not in close like this. You want to be out nice and wide, just like so. Yep, looks good. So the first exercise that you're going to do today is called the, the cross-country ski. You're going to put one foot out in front of the other, and we're going to do this. We're going to go slow. We're going to lift like that. Okay, let me just hit my button. Starting session. Four, three, two. One, let's go. 30 seconds. Careful not to slouch, keep your posture tall. Cross country skiing, right? We're driving those ski poles in. Doesn't, yeah, I've got my left foot out in front. It doesn't really matter. Try to remember which foot you've got out in front. We're going to do it opposite when we come back around to this exercise. All right? That means I'll be my right foot next time. Good, feet side by side. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little squat, bring them up and lift up overhead. So a little clean and jerk, very functional. It's like putting groceries away in top shelves. Pick them up. And when you pick them up, you're gonna push your backside out behind you, right? You need to do that. Pick them up, put them away. Three, two, one, rest. The third one in this first group, you're gonna bring your hands together and we're gonna lift up just like that. Okay, three, two, one, go. No higher than your chin. Think about your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Five seconds. Good. Now I'm going to put my right foot forward. And we're going to do these cross country skis again. In three seconds. Two, one. Let's go. Five 
that's it, that's it. Good. Let's break, let's break. Let's do our functional clean and jerk again, or you can come up. You can do this in a chair too. You don't have to be standing if you're tired today. Let's go. Pick them up. Go as fast as you're able to go. Find your own pace. If I'm moving too slow for you, go faster than me. Five seconds. Woo. Okay, back to our last lateral, the lateral lift, which is the last movement in this first round. Here we go, hands are coming together. Left lift and down. Good. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. First round is complete. First round is complete. Okay, so we're just gonna relax for a second here. We're gonna move on to the next round. We're gonna start with a real firecracker here. We're gonna go like this, up and over, just like that, as fast as you can. That's the first one for our next one. Okay. So here we go. Starting Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up and over. Push, push, push. Work those shoulders. Work those shoulders. You want to tire them out a little bit. Excellent. If it hurts, don't do it. Do your best. Maybe you won't get them so high. Maybe even just that. Maybe that's all you're able to do today. That's okay. Just keep it going. By now, if you get a little bit tired, Feel those shoulders, oh boy, they're talking to you. Say, what are we doing? What are you doing to me? Ooh, yes, take a breather. Next up, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna do a little pull up, like a zip up. Three, two, one, go, zip them up. Zip, zip, zip it up the zipper. Good. Nice tall posture. It's kind of hard to slouch to do this one, otherwise you smack yourself in the face. So it kind of makes you stand nice and tall. You guys are great, look at you go. Keep it up, keep it up. Oh, yes. Okay, and great, we gotta do those triceps, the back of the arms. So we can do it like this, like that, or you can do the kickbacks like this. Whatever you like. Okay, I'm gonna go overhead for the first one. Bend those elbows it's like you're scratching your back with a scratching post. That's what it feels like. Yes. Drive those arms all the way up, all the way up. Feel the back of the arms. Or go down like this. It's up to you. It's up to you. So make sure you get those arms nice and high. Bend, just bend the elbows, not the shoulders, not the shoulders. Just the elbows. Okay, taking a break. Going back to our overhead shoulders. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep the pace up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Two, three, four. That's it. That's it. Excellent. You got it, gang. You got it. Looking good. Woo. 10 seconds, go, 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 keep the pace up. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo. Rest. You did that one right, you, you, wanted the, you wanted that rest, you're ready for it, that's good. Okay, let's do the zipper, here we go, zip it up. Zip it up the zipper. Breathe. Nice breaths. 
Five seconds. Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. One last one. Let's do those triceps again. Up like this or down like this. It's up to you. Okay, let's go. Five seconds. Okay, let's put those dumbbells down. We're gonna get ready for some boxing here. Take a very short break. Have a drink of water, folks. I'm gonna grab my bottle and be right back. All right, happy campers. You ready to rock and roll? Today we're gonna to do some voice exercises. You can't get enough voice exercises. So we're gonna kind of include some, some of this kind of, well, just shouting out in conjunction with our, our punches today. We're gonna to start with that before we get into any real combinations or stuff. We're gonna do the vowel sound. So A-E-I-O-U. We're not gonna mess around with Y. Just A E I O U. So we're going to do them in, in time with our punches. So it's going to go like this. Remember, if you're right handed, put that left foot out in front. If you're left handed, put the right foot out in front. I am extremely right handed. My left hand is terrible. So here's what we're going to do we're going to come up and we're going to just throw some little one twos like this, right? So just left, right. But when we do that, we're going to do our vowel sounds. And I want to see those mouths moving. I want to hear you. Even though you're muted, I won't be able to hear you. I'm just gonna imagine it. So it's gonna go like this. A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. Again, A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. Let's hear you. A, E, I, O, U. Good, stop there. Now we're gonna do hooks. Like this, that's a little slower. We're gonna put an M in front of each vowel. So it's gonna sound like this. May, me, my, mo, moo. Again, may, me, my, mo, moo. May, me, my, mo, moo. May, me, my, mo, moo. Now we're gonna put a B, 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 B as in Bob, in front of our uppercuts. We're gonna do uppercuts. It's in front of our vowel sounds. Here we go. B, 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 Again. B, 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 Two more. B, 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 One more. B, 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 B. Okay, now we're gonna do, you know our little speed, our little speed bag? When we do that, we're gonna hold a long, uh, we're gonna hold that sound, that A-H, as long as you can while you're doing this. Woo, let's give it a shot, ready? Let's go. Uh, uh, Let's do a reverse one. Same idea, ready? Deep breath. Let's go. Uh... Well done. Well done. You guys are better than me at that one. I can't hold it very long. Let me tell you, it's terrible. All right, I'm setting this up. Here we go. Let's get some boxing happening here. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, 
This is our third lesson together, I believe, in this particular round. Yeah, I think it was our third. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna do some combinations here. We're gonna start with my favorite, which is the old one, two. Now with the one, two, it's a jab, cross, you've gotta get this, this hip turning on the number two, right? So it isn't just this, you gotta get one, two, one, two, so you're gonna get some hip turning. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, one, two. All the way out. One. If you want some more voice practice, call them out. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Or one, two, 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 one, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> okay. Take a break. Let's do the three fours. You don't have to call them out, but hey, if I were you, I would. Any chance you get to use your voice, do it, do it, do it. Let's go. Three, four, 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 three, four. Shut the door. Three, four, three. Four, three, four, three, four. Good. Three, four, three, four. So those are what we call hooks. Left hook is number three. Right hook, number four. Time for some uppercuts. That's what we call five and six. So it's left, right. Let's go. Left, right. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Five, six, yes, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five. You got it, okay, you got it. Five, six, five, six, six, good. And the last two are seven, eight. This time I'm gonna put my feet side by side and I'm gonna go seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's go, seven. Eight, seven, come back together. Eight, come back together. Yes, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Good. Seven. You got it. You got it. You got it. Good. Good. Almost there. Three, two. Okay, now we're going to mix up. We're going to mix up some of those some of those patterns here. So in between, I want you guys just to walk. It's only 10 seconds. Okay, let's do a one, two, three with a little duck. Here we go. One, two, three, duck. One, two, three, yes. So it's a jab, cross, hook, duck. So you don't get hit. Two, three, duck. Jab, cross, hook, duck. One, two, three, duck. One, Two, three, duck. One, two, three, duck. Good. And walk in place. Keep walking. Sorry, I had to take care of something there. Let's do a one, one, two, two. One, one, two, two. And then a five, six. Okay, so that's two jabs. One, one, two, Two, five, six. One, one, two, two, five, six. You got it. One, one, two, two, five, six. One, one, two, two, five, six. One, one, two, two. Walk it in place. Walk it in place. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Swing those arms. Yeah, I'm swinging my arms. Okay, let's do a three, four, five, six. Here we go. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. You got it. Three, four, five, six. Yes. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Almost there. Four. Good. Now give me 
Okay, 10 seconds for the squats. Ready? Let's go. We're squatting. We're squatting. Squat. Squat. You got it. All right, three, three, four, four, and a seven, eight. Hook, 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 hook. Oh, there's someone behind you, seven. Now we're gonna get those guys. Three, three, four, four, seven, eight. Three, three, four, four, seven, eight. Three, three, four, four, seven, eight. Good. Walking. Get those knees up. Lift those knees. Exaggerate your walk. Nice high step. Now we're going to take a step forward. One, two, three, four. Step back. Other foot. One, two, three, four. Good. Keep that going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You got it. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And last one. Now modify jumping jacks, just like this. Bring those arms up. Step out. Step out. Just for 10 seconds. We're doing these little in-betweeners here. All right, here we go. We're going to do a one, two, three, four, five, six. And a break in between. One. Two, three, a little break. Four, five, six, a little break. One, two, three, a little break. Four, 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 five, six, and a break. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, the next step, we're going to do our speed bag. Remember the old speed bag? We get that going. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Speed bag. It's right there in front of you. It's right there in front of you. Smack that bag. Yes, get it going. People that are really good with speed bags, so you can hear the rhythm. It sounds amazing. I'm not so good. It's a tricky thing. If you ever tried a real speed bag, it's, it's a challenge, let me tell you. Three. Two, one, take a breather. Now we're gonna step from the middle. We're gonna step to the, we're gonna step out to the left, turn, throw a one, two, three, come back, step the other way. One, two, three, come back together. Step, one, two, three, the other way. One, two, three, so it's another balance exercise. One, two, three, one, two, three, yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. You got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Hey, we're going to do a reverse speed bag. So if you were going like this, now you're going to bring it the other way. Okay. Think of it like a uh, like an old uh, riverboat. You know the riverboat paddle? The big paddle wheel. That's what this should feel like. Get the paddle wheel going. Very nice. Keep that, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. We're almost done with the tough stuff here, guys. Paddle wheel, paddle wheel, paddle wheel, paddle wheel. Ooh. Nice. It's hard to keep that energy up. I know, keep those shoulders going. Some of you look really, oh, y'all look really good. Some of you are going so fast, it's like a blur. I can't even see your hands anymore. Good. A little walk. Now we're going to do a fast speed round, one, two, one, two, one, two, which means left, right, jab, cross, but as fast as you can. Ready? Like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. Oh, yeah. One, two, one, two. Yes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. Keep going. We're halfway there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yes. One, two. These are smaller punches, smaller punches. Good, 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 good. Three, two, one, and stop. Swing those arms. Well done. Well done. Now hopefully, if you're like me, you're breathing a little heavier, your heart rate's come up a little bit. Let's just do these nice, easy swings just to get the blood flow going back down a tiniest bit. 
Let's do one arm, just get that circle going. Ooh, feels good to move the body. Yes, movement is medicine, right? <laughs> Best kind of medicine, the other way. No side effects, as long as you don't overdo it. <laughs> exercise only has good effects, good effects. If I don't get my exercise in, I get grumpy. So my side effects of no exercise is grumpiness. Okay, the other side. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. She's as bad as me though. She doesn't get out for her exercise. She's very grumpy too, so. <laughs> well, relatively. She's a pretty happy gal. Okay, big swings, big swings. And let's change that direction all the way around the other way. Now I want you to look for your chair. Hopefully it's not too far away. Have a quick drink of water and grab your chair. So I'm gonna face my, the seat of my chair, just like this. One of my favorite stretches to do is to put my hands down onto a chair, keeping the legs straight. I'm just gonna let that stretch go down the back of the legs. Should feel tight, but hopefully it feels good. And I can, you know, you can just kind of rock forward and backwards just a little tiny bit. Think about where you're feeling that stretch. Is it in the hamstrings or further down into the calves or is it in the backside even? It's good just to think about what's being stretched. Now, if you want, you can push your backside a little bit farther away from your hands. That'll change the stretch up a little bit. You'll feel that. Oh, yes. If that becomes too intense, move your backside forward again. Okay, we're gonna slowly come back up, turn that chair around. We're gonna put one foot back out behind you. Press that heel into the ground. There's a lovely calf stretch. And that's one of those really feel good kind of stretches. And you can also bend, see that back knee, bend that back knee to so go from here to here. It's subtle. And then the stretch goes down a little deeper, down towards your ankle, to your Achilles tendon. Good, we'll change legs. Press that heel into the ground. That's what we're after, right there. <coughs> and bending that back knee just a little tiny bit. that point, we're gonna sit in our chair. Chairs are for sitting after all. Give yourself some moment here just to kind of get your breath back. I want you to go with your palms up like this. And then we're gonna and come forward from the back of your chair just a bit so you're free sitting, not sitting with your back against. What I want you to do is just kind of reset your posture here. So we're gonna pull those elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and you should feel really tall in your chair. Sit really tall. This is kind of the opposite of slouching. So I do this every day. It just kind of resets my posture a little bit. So go forward, reach forward, and then pull back. And bring those shoulder blades together. That feel good. I love this one. Now, next up, let's bring our hands together out in front like this, and we're gonna open. And then close slowly like that. Try to get a nice stretch through the chest muscles, good. 
Lean back just a little bit, open up. You're making a big T. That's it. Oh, now we're gonna stay there. We're gonna tilt. Bring your hand down towards the floor. Try to get those fingers on the floor if you can and keep your other arm up. Hold. You might not get all the way down. That's perfectly fine. Let's go the other way. Back up. It's like an airplane, right? We're an airplane. Oh, I'm tighter on this side. See, so I'm having a much harder time getting myself down there. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt, but it's tight. All right, one more. Well, I just learned something about myself. I'm tighter on my right side. Good. So even if you only get to here, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to get all the way down. Final tilt. Final tilt. Good. Well done, you guys. Now let's kick that right leg out. Talked about the hamstring. We did some work in our hamstrings earlier. So you're going to sit with one leg straight. Take your hand and put it on your knee. Now slide that hand down towards your ankle. Don't fall out of your chair like I always do. Bring down, and you're going to feel that stretch in the back of your leg, right? Grab your toe if you can. Grab your toe. If your knee bends a bit, that's okay. If you feel a stretch, then you're doing it right. You don't have to look like, you know, the people in the, in the, in the uh, exercise videos that look perfect. You just wanna feel the stretch. So that might mean you have to keep your knee bent a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Just hang on to that stretch for a good 30 seconds. Again, this is another excellent stretch to do every day, especially after your walk. Go for a walk. When you come back in, add this one in. You want to stretch those hamstrings. Okay, let's try the other side. Hand on the knee. Slide it on down. Heading on down to ankle town. Grab your ankle. You can get past the ankle and grab your toe. Oh, good on you, mate. Give it your best shot. Stretch it down, stretch it down. Good. Holding that stretch. Another 10 seconds. Good. Okay, and we're gonna now we're gonna use the back of our chair. Lean on back. Bring those hands together. We're gonna push out and slowly bring those arms up. So when I model when I model the exercises that we're doing, the boxing and whatnot, you can go slower or faster than what I'm doing. I'm just showing you what I want the exercise to look like. It's up to you to find your own pace. Okay, so don't feel like you have to keep up with me. Or if I'm going too slow, go ahead. Go a little faster. Find your own pace. It's great to push yourself within safe parameters. That's the bottom line. I'm all about pushing yourself. And I push myself in all the things that I do. But I have to make sure I'm smart about it too. You be you and I'll be me. <laughs> now let's bring that one arm across, grab that elbow, push it over, get that nice stretch to the shoulders. When we do these boxing movements, you use a lot of shoulders. So it looks like this, just bring it across, right? And then just keep pushing that arm. You wanna keep the arm straight. Don't bend it like this, keep the arm straight. And you wanna feel it here in the shoulders. As we're winding down, I wanna say a big thank you to everybody for coming out today. I really enjoy seeing you on Tuesdays. It's a lot of fun. Gives me an excuse to move my body too. <laughs> I'll see some of you tomorrow for the Dopa Beats drumming. I'll see some of you in my class on Thursday. I wish you guys a wonderful week and uh, keep exercising, keep it going, especially if we get some dry days coming up. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming. See you next time. You've been a wonderful audience. <laughs> Take care gang. Thank you, Doug. See you later. Thanks, guys. Bye, Lana. Thank you. Bye, Kelly.